we are evolved to function on the ground and at speeds achievable on two legs. But with the technological evolution, airplanes can make us fly. The flight environment is unfamiliar to human body. It creates sensory conflicts and illusions and it makes spatial orientation difficult. Differences between the perception and reality is called illusion. And these illusions can adversely affect the human performance as a pilot. So let's look into optical illusions. During taxi, cockpit height is above the ground and pilot eye height from the ground may be the source of misjudged speed, which will give the illusion of slower taxi speed. Hence, in the initial stages of training, they may taxi at excessive speeds. During approach and landing, a down sloping runway can create an illusion that the aircraft is lower than it actually is. Hence, pilot will tend to fly above, which leads to a higher approach. An up sloping runway can create the illusion that the aircraft is higher than it actually is which leads to a lower approach. A pilot used to a standard width of runway, 150 feet or 46 meters, when approaching to an unfamiliar airfield with narrow runway, may judge he is too high and therefore flare on too low. If a pilot is used to making an approach on a narrower runway, goes to an airfield which has a wider runway, will tend to flare too high to match the visual scene. The black hole effect or the craft solution when approaching to an airfield at night over water, jungle or desert, the only light visible may be the distant runway or airfield lights. With the black hole intervening, this absence of the visual cues can lead to the illusion that the aircraft is too high and as a result, the approach path may be flown to shallow angle, which may lead to the aircraft touching down short of the runway. Then during cruise, high speed traffic on a converging track from ahead may produce a very small angular picture on the retina until it is very close. Because of the aircraft's smaller retinal size, it is quite possible that the pilot will not notice it at all if there is no relative movement across the windscreen. In the last 1.4 seconds, the image of the converging aircraft will grow very large indeed. But by this time, it will be too far late to take any avoidance action. Figure shows that the rate of increase for the aircraft approaching at closing speed of 800 knots, it can be seen that the image of the aircraft remains very small until just before impact. That said, pilots are trained to identify and overcome the effects of such illusions. Pilots rely on the instruments rather than mere perception. Thus, carry out the safe conduct of flight despite of these human limitations.